Premier League plays. Um, and yeah, we found it hard at times in the last 15, 20 minutes. But from my point of view, it was a, it's a great test for us, you know, it builds character going into, into this National League season. Yeah, conceding the first goal after five minutes, um, there may well have been some concern, but the side seemed to settle down really well after that and played some good football. Yeah, we did. I've just been speaking to Nathan Jones, the manager of Stoke City then, and he, he was really impressed with us from our point of view. You know, um, considering that we've, we are in a new system ourselves, you know, we're trying this out. Um, it was hard to, to deal with it at times against their diamond shape, uh, which, I thought, which, which I thought caused us problems. But centrally, we, 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 we were secure, you know, they had to go round the outside to sort of break us down. Um, but yeah, from our point of view, we're just building building blocks, you know, uh, building them foundations to try and keep keep working this pre-season out, you know. The majority of the team there got 90 minutes, um, which is important now, we're at that, that stage of the pre-season where we need to start upping the fitness levels. And like I said, I, I didn't want to make too many substitutions late on, because it was all about sort of giving them lads that character to, to go through pain when, 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 it, when, it, when it comes to it. Um, and it was hard, it was hard, you know, they moved the ball quite quick in that last 15, 20 minutes. And, but we did well, we did well. You mentioned um, not making any late substitutions. Was that the plan going into this game to give 90 minutes to those players or was it a decision that was taken during the game? No, it was a plan to do it. Um, I could see that for the last 10, 15 minutes we were fatiguing at times, you know. Um, I only made the one substitution with Lane coming on for Mark and that was down to fatigue factor as well. You know, Mark, I looked at Mark's second half and I thought he was looking a little bit sluggish. Um, and I just tried to protect him, really. Um, he's, he's played internationals while these players have had the off-season off, you know, so that might have had a bearing, you know. He's had a few more games than, than others, so I was just a bit wary of that and that's why I made that substitution. Um, but, yeah, I think in general, as a, as, a, as, a, as a workout, it was all about trying to give these players the 90 minutes now and, and start building up. Yeah, in terms of the first eleven, was it important for you for Jake Lawler and Sean Pearson in particular at the back to to get working together again, which they hadn't done for some time? Yeah, exactly. You know, Adam Adams in there as well. Um, Jake's been out, as we know, for for numerous weeks, and we've gradually given him the minutes now um, in these last last few weeks, you know, to try and build his fitness up, get that game time in him, you know, and, and re relinquish that partnership with Sean. You know, like I say, Adams in there as well as a back three. I think they've they done okay, they did okay together, you know, get, getting those distances right, getting that communication value in, into the three of them as well, and I like taking forward in, with the midfield. I thought Akeel and Luke Summerfield were excellent in there tonight. Um, you know, they broke things up when they had to, but they settled us down when we needed to play. But yeah, I think, I think considering that we've, we've only just threw this formation at the players, um, and the stage where we're at in pre-season, we're going along nicely in it. Bobby and JJ um, starting up front with Mark Harrison starting eleven. Uh, JJ was running through walls for you in that first half, wasn't he? And did very well to keep persistent for the goal. And Bobby Grant again shows what a bit of confidence can do for a player. Yeah, I think I think the front three um, tonight they, they they had the grip between the teeth. You know, trying to get it into their, their game that if, if if the balls are going back there and in the oppositions defensive thirds, we want to try and high press teams, we want to try and get up the field as quick as we can. And that's how the goal came from. You know, it was great work ethic from uh, JJ, Mark, and then Bobby's on the end of it from the cross. So, so yeah, I, I, want, I want them to work as a three. We've got to connect them somehow. And I think over the last few weeks, and, and as we're going building through this pre-season, we are seeing strengths there. We're seeing, uh, we're seeing uh, partnerships, we're seeing a little bit of collaboration between them. You know, and that's backed up by the wing backs as well because they're covering a lot of ground there. You know, James Jennings and, and Paul Rutherford on the right, they have to cover a lot of ground to get in support of them. So I think we're getting better all the time, aren't we? Don't get me wrong, we've lost the game tonight. Um, but from a manager's point of view and looking in from the sides, I think there's, there's definitely positives. In terms of today being Wednesday, that's not too long to turn around before you go again on Saturday. We're expecting to see some changes in that starting 11 and perhaps. The, uh, the number of minutes that individual players are going to be getting this weekend. Yeah, definitely. You know, it's a, we're, a, we're a squad game, aren't we? We've, we've built a squad. Um, so yeah, the other lads will, will, will start against Kersen. You know, it's all about, like I say, keep getting those minutes in. We're still in pre-season. Um, and then once we get through this weekend, we're into those final two weeks. You know, and that's when the squad will come together as a whole. 
Um, we haven't got any midweek games, so we'll be focused on a lot of the training ground stuff going into crew, and the same the following week going into Barrow. So, so yeah, the, the, the pre-season's panning out quite nicely. Have you got a good idea of your first 11 at this point? I think I've got a squad that could all could all play in that first 11, which is a real good problem for me. Um, you know, we've got Devontae Redmond to go into that. Um, you know, so so yeah, I've got I've got I've got decisions to make, but that's 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 what I have to do. Um, what I need to do now is make sure everyone's ready, make sure everyone's fit, um, and make sure that personnel choice, whoever we go with uh, on that first game, doesn't mean that the other lads are not, are not going to be involved. You know, because everyone everyone will be part of it. Whatever we do this season. Um, but that first 11 will be about getting us that right start going into that barrel game. Awesome. Cheers, Brian. Thanks. Just, just a word on Curzon. Um, Brian, if it's anything like Salford, it'd be a good test, wouldn't it? 